Welcome! Today we're going to talk about the right hand, the bow and different bow strokes on the string and off the string. So to start with, we're going to put the violin away. <coughs> and most important thing is we get a good bow hold. Not just a good bow hold, but a very soft one. I keep insisting that everything needs to be soft from your left hand, your arms, your shoulders, same thing here. Your bow needs to be super soft and flexible to be able to move and help with all those different bow strokes that we have. So, bow hold. I recommend that you do this and you find where your thumb goes naturally. Mine goes into the second finger. If it's in the same place, it will be natural for you and it will be nice and balanced. If your bow hold is, for some reason, to one side, then it's going to be very difficult to hold the bow properly or the other way because it's not going to be balanced. So we need to have it somewhere around between the second and the third finger. In my case, it's the second finger, depends on the hands. So find that and just play around with the fingers a little bit like this, always pointing up for the moment. Once you've done this, you can do it the other way. Check that all your fingers are nice and soft. Good. And your wrist, and your elbow, and your shoulders. Always keep checking, even your knees, nice and soft. So that's what we're going to need for the bow. So we're going to start with a quick introduction on different bow strokes today. First thing is we're going to put this bow on the string. So we need to give the bow to the string, not the other way around. It's never this way. It's always good ball in position and then the bow goes to the string. So do it on the eastern since your bow is pointing up and there's no weight. Don't go to the other strings by themselves because you can bring some tension here. So once we are on the E string then we can move to the other ones. So let's start with the A string and we're gonna make sure that we have a nice balanced bow hold nice balanced bow on the string and there's no sound we're just holding it there and then we can go into the string we'll try to get a nice deep sound this is the basis for any on the string bow strokes it could be from legato staccato Martele, which can also be at the tip, even tremolo, needs to be on the string, and sautille also starts on the string, moving just your wrist and your, and your hand. But all of those start on the string. Now we're going to talk about the lifted bow strokes, so the ones that are off the string. For that, instead of having the bow balanced on the string, we have the bow over the string, about one centimeter, one inch, two centimeters maximum off the string. So we lift the wrist and then we get this new level. And that's where we're going to operate from and we're going to drop the bow from there. You can see I'm using the whole arm right now because I'm at the balance point. If you look higher up on the bow, using the upper arm, when we lift the wrist like this, we also make the bow the bow angle go forward, and by doing that. The sound is not as harsh as when we have it flat. Which we might want to have sometimes in things like ricochet. We want it to be really clear and more percussive. But when it's things like spiccato, we want that cushion. 
And that cushion starts from having less bow on the string, so it's not so percussive. And when we have things like jete, it's a bit like ricochet, we want to have it quite percussive. We also play different parts of the bow, as we will see. Now, one of the most important things we need when we are playing, when we're talking about bow strokes, is this finger flexibility and wrist. I was using the whole arm, but we need to work on your fingers and wrist, so you can grab something like a pencil. I think pencil is better because it's got all the different facets, like the bow, and you can just put your fingers the same way that you do your bow hold. Remember nice and soft. And then we can work on that finger flexibility, which is stretching and pulling. So you can do it this way, you can do it up and down, which is a bit more difficult. And another thing we can do is if we grab a paper, we can just have some fun and we can try to draw something. So I'm going to show you. We can start by making circles. So remember, we're just using the fingers. You can make a circle like this. Or you can even do a, a spiral. You can try to do a spiral, which is starting very small and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And bigger. And we get that action. You can draw anything you like. You could do a house. It's not my best house. I'm sure you can do better than me. But remember, just using your fingers, not using your arm or your wrist. And you can even write your name. So I'm going to write name. You write your name. See? Just using your fingers. After doing that, we can have the pencil, imagine you see your bow, and imagine you're going up and down, and you're going to stretch as you go down, and you go curling as you go up. Stretch, curling. It's the idea of throwing something and picking it up, throwing, picking it up, throwing, picking it up. But without throwing the pencil, just stretching the fingers and curling in. This, we are now exaggerating the movement, it's going to be slightly less, and we want to have even the thumb stretching and curling, stretching and curling. So, this is going to be what we're going to be doing with the spiccato, for example. Or if we have ricochet, it's going to be dropping like this. Yeah? Nice lifted wrist. Good? Let's go back to the bow. So, let's do the same without playing yet. We stretch to go down, we curl up. Stretch, curl up, stretch, curl up. And then we go. Using the whole arm as well. And your wrist needs to be nice and flexible. You see, the movement is much smaller when you do it for real. Could be faster, but for the moment, we're going to do it slowly. Just to get the coordination. We need to get that coordination between the arm and the fingers. Let's try now. We will be covering each one of those bow strokes. I'm just giving you a little idea. Jete is a bit more like a bit more flat bow and dropping the bow like that. I'm gonna try just a couple more things. The first one is gonna be landing. Sometimes we lift the bow and then the next one is going to be on the string. So we need to be able to land. So we lift the bow 
and then we land first quietly and then play lift find the balance good now we're gonna try landing at the tip so we're gonna do a circle dumbo and then we're gonna land on the tip this could be useful when we're doing circles up both circles For this one we need the whole arm. We land, we find the balance and then we go land, land. Same thing at the hill. Let's do tambo now. You see how I'm using the fingers to go down as well? And to curl them up on the way up, like a circle. different ways of approaching the swing. First we're going to go completely vertical like this. Imagine the idea of having a vertical landing, like a helicopter. And then from there we're going to go into a V. We're approaching the swing from really far away, just to get the big motion and then we're going to do it smaller. Now we go from a V, we go into a U. So from a V, we're going to do a U, so spend more time on the string. Use your fingers to land. Go back to a V. vertical. So this is the same idea for the whole of them, V and U. Only that we use more or less bow horizontally, but vertical is the same thing. Let's do it smaller. So we start with a very small I, let's call it, then V. Soft fingers, stretching. So this is just an introduction, we're going to be working on each one of them specifically, like spiccato, like jete, like even, even the other ones. So this is just an introduction for lifted bow strokes. Um, we're going to mention also the on the string bow hooks, but we're going to go through each one of those lifted bow strokes to see how to work on them individually until next time. So this was just an introduction on the right hand and different strokes. Um, we have done some strokes on the string and off the string. You probably have been working a lot on the string. So this series, we're going to be focusing on lifted bow strokes um, to get this new balance and to focus on how can we work on each one individually, like spiccato that we did today or ricochet or any of the other how do we work on those lifted bow strokes or springing bow strokes we will also be covering it through Shepchik Opus 3 
we will also be covering it on Shapshik Opus 3, which is a very good book on specific lifted bow strokes. We will see how each one of these are introduced in the book and how we can work on them. I will also send some links on the different Shepshik so that you can see how to play them. And then from there we can see how we can implement it on different pieces. So I hope you enjoyed this and if you did please subscribe so you can see more videos like this. Thank you.